Hey guys, we want to talk to you about something called Original Grain. If you're living under a rock, you might not know what it is, but dude, look how boss I look. Why? Why do I look boss? Because of the watch, because of the sunglasses. We sold out of these sunglasses last I had. So if you want something, go get it now. Uh, Father's Day is coming up. I know because I'm a father. Also, I'm a person. Matt even knows he's not a father. I have a so, father. You have a father. I have a father too because we're brothers. This is the boss one right here. This is the boss one that I like. And you know your boy's future is too bright. So go get the sunglasses. You got but, rings too. Check out this ring. Love yeah, they got it, a lot of stuff. Um, look, they've been making watches. Original Green's been making watches from unique materials for almost a decade. Every watch they sell, they plant a tree and have planted over half a million trees. So do you want to look boss and also be a good person? Yeah. Original Grain is for you. Yep. Veteran and family-owned company started by two brothers, much like me and him, but probably more responsible and better. Yeah, In the maybe. Pacific Northwest, over 20,000 five-star reviews. So That's here's so what you, many. I know dude. it's a lot, right? A, well, we're going to sell out of all our inventory before Father's Day, so make sure you get them early at originalgrain.com slash lifeline for 30% off. You're probably like, what? Yes, Whoa. you heard right, 30% off. Use code LIFELINE at originalgrain.com slash lifeline to get 30% off site-wide. That's the whole fucking site. Yeah, they also make watches from other sustainable material materials so like 100% recycled ocean plastic, uh, reclaimed military ammo and wood crates, and reclaimed German beer barrels. Whoa. So no matter what you resonate with, there is a perfect watch for you. That's code LIFELINE at originalgrain.com slash lifeline to get 30% off site-wide. Father's Day is coming up. Go get it. Go get your Father's Day gift taken care of today. And be, a, and be a good person and be boss and have your future too bright. Be a good son. Original Grain. Or daughter. Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. You know, because all right, so we got the cam the cameras that are on me are working best. Yeah. Okay. Good. No, those are working the worst because they're showing you. Whoa. Burn, dude! I burned you. Nope. All good. Burned you. Nope. No, I did burn you. That's technically a burn. So, <clears throat> dude, um, we're we're we started, and but uh, and this is Lifeline, you know, and that's great. Yeah, man. And it's, it's episode seven. Uh, I think. Yeah, seven. Right. Is it seven, Anthony? You know what? Chris isn't here. The producer already fucking seventh episode, and he's already fucking not here. I he's know. literally on vacation, which is fucking cocksucking. Okay, that's shitty to to do it to uh, to leave us hanging like that is shitty. Yeah, we don't like that. And also, here's the deal: he went on vacation, and uh, last time was it last time he had no? Was it, I think it was actually two shows ago, and we could talk about this now because he he's not here. No, it was definitely the last. It one. was okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Every day is the same day in a way to no. me, so I never know. Oh, so um, so he we ran out of videos. Say it right. Say it right. Say it right. He ran out of videos. He 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 collects the fucking dozens of videos. No, and comes dozens. Through them. We have we have hundreds of videos. I'm saying, do we? How many? How many do you think we have that we haven't used? If you had to guess, hundred. We have hundreds. I know, but I'm saying per week. I guess they add up per week. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's okay. What I'm saying yeah. So he, anyway, I asked him the other day. He said there's hundreds. In okay, there. so he cues them up to get ready to fucking play for us for the show. Yeah, and he <laughs> he cued like six. I mean, maybe it was like seven or eight. But we, we got through them, and it wasn't like we ran through them. It wasn't like we burned through them. At all. It wasn't like we were like, fix your life, next. Yeah, right, We weren't right, doing yeah, that. Yeah. But, he, but we ran through them. Yeah. And, well, we didn't run through them, but we right. got through them. Right. And then he was like, that was it. That's it. That's the videos. Right. So then he asked for some advice, which is very cool. You get to understand, you know, our producer, Chris, and like his struggles. And yeah, he was yeah, talking yeah. about, yeah. how do I lose weight and stick to a plan? But we cut out the part where oh, it did was we? like, yeah, we cut out the part where it was like, it made him look bad. Oh, about how running out of videos? Yes. Not not okay. Yeah. We, we want the raw shit here at Lifeline. Yeah. You know? And if you're a fan of my podcast, congratulations. If you're a fan of my shit, you know I'm raw and what you see is what you get. Mm. The fact that he cut it out, now that's a no-no, right? <laughs> we don't like that, but that's what he did, but that's a no-no. But what I want to be clear about yeah. is that he made a mistake. Right, because we were talking about it earlier and we were like, yeah. like, before we started recording, we were like, well, what the fuck? Remember we ran out of videos. Right. And then Matt was like, yeah, it was his fault. Yeah. And I was like, 
Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it's not like we we ran through them, but you know, I guess I just wanted to know how many videos we had queued up today. And he was like, it was his fault. And right. he kept saying it was his fault. And yeah. I was like, yeah, you think it is? And he was like, yes. And I was like, yeah, maybe you're right. And then no. I said, but what percentage? I, I, and you didn't answer this. I said, let's, let's wait I'd, and talk about it on the podcast. Oh, right. That's the, right. Yeah. So I said, I was what, very ready to answer. So that. what percentage do you think it's his fault that we didn't have enough videos for the last episode? 100%. Come on. You think it's 100% his it's fault? It's 100% okay, his so, fault. All right. Dude, if we have hundreds of videos uh-huh. and he only put six up, like, what if we did more? Okay. Why don't you just pad it? Just pad it. Okay. Okay. Just so, pad it. Dude. Okay. Then I have another question then. Okay. What if he had 20 videos queued up and that, we burned through all of them and it was under an hour? Whose fault is that? Whose fault is it? I mean, I would say that's nobody's fault. That would okay. be our fault because we're not spending enough time. That would okay, be weird. So, so it can't be 100% his fault then. If six, I think it was actually seven or eight videos. I have a question. What, if, got through. what, if, he, what if he put two videos on there? <laughs> Then, then his fault would have been. Then it would 100% be his there fault. There you go. That's I'm saying that's so, the same so thing. So the percentage is sliding then. It's a sliding scale, but if it's if it's too little, it's always his so fault. So you think under 10 is 100% his fault? Yes. 8 is his fault, 100%. 8 is, yeah, okay, exactly. So, 10 is the right. 10 okay, is the so right one. So 10 right. would be maybe, uh, I'd be like, okay, it starts to be not his fault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. 9 is like, you really feel getting, 9 is like, maybe it's 9 to be perfectly okay, honest, okay. but it's it's... It's his fault. Last episode, his fault. And we deeply apologize is the thing. But most of the thing is we deeply apologize because he's not on camera. So we apologize on his behalf, right? Right. But the truth is it got cut in a way that that didn't even... Oh, it just fuck. seemed like he was seeking advice. It, it, he wanted to make sure... Sh- oh, right? so, okay. So right. Now that's we why, got it. Okay. So that's why... All right. So that's why people th- didn't understand. Yep. But we are exposing him. So we're, basically... He's exposed. We're exposing Chris, the producer... And he's not here right he's now, not so there's nothing here. he can say. Yep. And we've talked about this for four minutes, and yep. he's not going to cut it out because it's no. been four minutes, and we're going to do just enough time right, right, to right. where he can't cut it out because then the podcast will be too short. He better not. He better Dude, not try. I love figuring stuff out like that. Okay. If I had that conversation with dad, it would have been so much more annoying. Well, it would have been an hour. It would have been the whole You're episode. right. We would have got it to zero videos. Yes, yes, And yes. we would have still had videos for next time. And that would have been dad's fault. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true, dude. You know? That's like the fucking how many meats stripping. Pasta thing. Stripping. Stripping. <laughs> stripping. <laughs> stripping the sandstorm. That would be so bad, dude. No, dude, that's like the number one strip. No, the, you know what's the number one strip stripper song? Sandstorm. Uh, I wanna fuck you like right. an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna feel right. you from the inside. You're right. You're right. Or. <laughs> That Portishead song? <laughs> I mean, I had no fucking idea what that was. And also what Portishead song because that doesn't sound like any Portishead song. Well, they all kind of sound the same, but this one goes. I heard Jess. Can't really tell what it is until. Right here. So rude how close your hand is to my face. I mean, also, were you saying like, don't interrupt me? Is that what that was? Yeah. Well, yeah, here it comes. So fucking rude dude if i just close your mouth like this and no or or like a lollipop mr take away yeah i know well now we got to explain it okay so go ahead that's the great thing to explain mr take away was a guy it's a japanese a, man who taught spanish in very high school. funny in high school in our high school now we're not saying oh look all walks of life all races can teach whatever the fuck they of want course. equal opportunity we're all about <laughs> inclusion but look dude mr take away was a japanese guy <laughs> See, it's good to bring up, dude. <laughs> He's a Japanese guy. I probably talked about this on my podcast at some point, but this this Japanese guy who fucking uh, te- he taught but like Spanish. from Japan. He's thick accent. Oh yeah, he would say uh, he yeah. I mean, he would say welcome, welcome to class. I mean, like yeah. it was a tradi- like yeah, a totally. Japanese, and he would be like hola, como está usted? Yeah, and we were like, it was very. And I remember one it was time so confusing. And I remember one time he was like. These kid, the bad kids came into class and they smelled of like drugs and shit mm-hmm. and alcohol. And he was going, ah, 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 ah. And I was like, what? And he said, tira, tira. And I was like, what are you saying? And he said, smoking. Oh. <laughs> tira, tira, smoking. Oh. I had him but too. He, but he would go, what, what was the thing? Yeah, he would go, right? yeah. When like, you were talking? No, he would go, that for? <laughs> And oh, he would he'd look right. at his watch or whatever, right? Okay, muchachos. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fucking got it. Yes. Okay, yes. muchachos. Uh, 
Okay. He would just do he would that. Try, he would like breathe he was a guy like from police you know, academy. He would breathe like like you know how like in between on a walkie talkie it'll go. <laughs> <laughs> he would do that with his mouth though. <laughs> okay, mochetos itched over and yes. out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he was just a human walkie talkie. That's right. That's right. I forgot. He would even about go. That. Dude, he was a human walkie talkie. Would. Why would he go? Because he was a human walkie talkie. Okay, human walkie talkie. That's it. Mr. Tekka made the human walkie talkie. That That's sounds it. like a fucking uh, movie that what's his name who did Isle of Dogs would do. Uh, Wes Anderson? Yeah, Wes Anderson would do that. Uh, uh, Mr. Take May. Is that Isle of Dogs? Yeah. Mr. Take May, the, what is it? The human walkie talkie yeah. would be made by the guy who did the fucking. Stop saying the guy, just say Wes Anderson. I, 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 I forget, just said Wes Anderson. I, I forget what his fucking name is. How could is, you dude? forget Wes Anderson's name, dude? You don't know anybody's name. No, that's not true. Mr. Take <laughs> <laughs> The human walkie talkie, Mr. Take I, in my, when I had him, I made him, I didn't make him, but he was one of those teachers who was, uh -huh. who were cool. He was a cool guy, actually. And he let us pick. It wasn't like I had to be Mateo. Oh, okay. I could. We could. I was pick Crystal whatever. Ball. Yeah. Yeah. I was Zorro. Okay. Wow. And he thought it was funny. And every time I would raise my <laughs> hand, and he would he would call on me, and he'd go, Zorro. Oh yeah. Wow. You're like really this. bringing me back with, with how you used to talk. He would Zorro. do it. You're yeah. right, dude. Zorro. Yep. <laughs> Muchachos. Yeah. Just so um, like. And he would wear Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. Wow, he, he was, was like a very multicultural individual. He was. He's probably dead now, huh? Oh, so depressing. But, well, he's probably, I mean, he was old then. He got, yeah, I mean, maybe no, he's, he's 90. He's probably dead, yeah. Wow, okay. Fucking well. bummer. RIP, dude, you ruled. Yeah, you If you're ruled. listening to us up there in heaven. if you, Or down there in hell. He might be in hell. You know what he might be in hell for? What? He showed us fucking, you know how like sometimes a teacher would just be like, fucking, I, I, yeah. I just want to yeah. like show you guys a movie. Yeah. yeah, You know? Yeah. Like I gave up today. Yeah. He showed us half-baked Hopefully he's dead, so now he's not exposed, and so uh, <laughs> you get canceled for that shit. Shit, fucking out of high school. half baked, um, dude. Shit, man. Well, yeah, I'm fucking exhausted, and I'll tell you why, dude. Because I was in uh, Austin, Texas, and then Dallas, Texas, and then I flew home, got here, took a ride to my house, got dressed, took a shower. That's why I look real nice, and then came here all the way fucking downtown, doing Lifeline, and now I have a spot at the Laugh Factory later. I rock. It's fine. I'm tired, but I rock, right? <laughs> I mean, so this is the kind of shit I do to bring you guys what you want. That's true. That's too many things, though. Muchachos. That's too many things. Then I sleep. Yeah, and then you sleep for fucking ever. You wake up at three, and I'm trying to text you all fucking morning. And you're <laughs> I will, dude. <laughs> How do you feel about the fact that we're both wearing blue? Are you as upset as I am? No, I like, I like it. Oh, okay. I like it. I think it's good because we haven't done it until the seventh episode, and we did it. We did all mismatch, and we didn't really... The first episode, we were like, what are you wearing? The second episode, I think we did it. And then after that, we just mismatched, and we didn't even mean to, and now we finally match. It's episode seven. It's the matching episode, and that's good, dude. It took us seven yeah. episodes to do that. That part's true. What do you think about when I do this? It's unfortunate on the audio you can't see what I'm doing. You're but just you nodding think? your head. But I'm doing it slow and I'm closing my eyes. What do you think about this? It looks like you're finally getting the blowjob you wanted. <laughs> like out of all the uh, forever. I just think sometimes I stumble upon things and I think that's how I'm going to do that for the rest of my life. Cool. So now when someone's talking mm -hmm. and I'm agreeing for mm -hmm. the rest of my life, I'm just going to do this. Looks like you're fucking falling asleep over and over again. <laughs> like constantly. Like, like waking up. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. But I'm not because my eyes are closed. So I'm not doing the eye roll thing. Okay, well. You said I was doing it like I was falling asleep. I'm not. Right. Well, whatever, okay. man. My advice to you is don't do that because people are going to think you're the biggest shithead of all time. <laughs> so that's my advice to you on Lifeline, okay? All right, thanks. We'll see how um, that goes, though. So yeah, dude, Rip Roaring. This is my fucking fourth coffee of the day. I'm so real that I the third coffee, I didn't even drink it. Oh, that's that's actually not real. That's wasteful. I didn't drink it. I didn't mean to do it because Kristen at the airport, dude, she's the kind of fucking person that gets a coffee after we land, we're waiting for the bags and she stops at the Starbucks. We get all the bags. We're ready to leave. And she's waiting for not only her drink, which would be fine for my drink that I didn't even ask her to get, dude. So then she brought it and I was like, I was like, just don't worry about it. And she's like, well, I already paid for it. She brought it in the car and then I'm in this fucking internal battle where it's like, oh, I should drink it because she got it for me, but I don't really want it. But should I prove a point and fucking not drink it? Or should I prove a point to myself and just drink it? Do you know what I'm saying? I do, but. I have a I have a solution for you. What? Step one, fucking chill out about it for sure. Right? No, not me. And step two, and I'm not, just not do the thing that you want to do, whether that's drink it or not drink it. Then he's not himself. But when you really know you, <laughs> do you really know yourself? Do you really know yourself in every aspect of every situation? You don't. So that's what no, I did. I figured but, out myself. I'm very Buddhist in this. But situation. when it came up, uh -huh. you knew if you wanted the coffee or not, right? Did you want the coffee? I didn't want it. Then then you don't drink it. But that's then she got it for me. I'm like, huh? 
And then I was like, no. And in the car, I was like looking at it, and it was just fucking like the ice was melting, and I didn't even fucking drink it. So this is my fourth coffee of the day, and the third one I drank. So it's your third coffee of the day. <laughs> fourth coffee day, but I only drank three. Yeah. Third coffee of the day. I mean, technically, it, what we were talking about, if I ingested, yes, my third. Yeah, coffee which is the day, what you do with fourth coffee, coffee so of the it's day, your third. though. So it's your third. Okay. Okay. Should we start? Yeah, let's start. Okay. Great. <clears throat> Most regular guy of all time. What's up, Matt and Chris? Hope you guys are doing well. Quick question for you today. Starting a band with my friends. We're nope. going to play some Next. rock and funk, blues, stuff like that. Love it. Sounds I recommend that the spin moves, and they're <laughs> on the fence about it. So any suggestions on your end would be much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Oh, he wants to know if good... he should start a band with his friends. No, dude. dude. Or the name. He is starting a band with his friends. He wants to know if... He suggested the Spin Moves yeah. as a band name. It's a cool name. They, it sounds like I don't think they liked it, but he's asking, what should a band name be? I have it. Well, I, I have what, I, I don't want to, let's back up first of all. The advice is don't start a band with your friends, right? Why is that the advice? Because it's going to be bad. Well, the, that's how the Beatles got started. And they were bad. <laughs> Okay. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, me, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah. Or fucking, Such a fucking brat. You we know? all live in a yellow submarine. No, you don't. Next. Okay. What do you want? Only literal lyrics? <laughs> yes. Why? Dude. That's the best, dude. But you can think that's the best, but to have only that's literal why lyrics. R&B is the best and the worst. R&B is the best music and the worst music, dude. Because they'll be like, I'll fuck you in the asshole. Or they'll be like very frilly and like super fucking contrived, but also like a- Give me an example. Uh, Make it up or don't. It doesn't matter. Real song or not real song. Okay. Uh, I mean, they would be. It would be like, oh, like the fucking like Brian McKnight. Remember the fucking my friend who says the oh same Brian Oh my god, that was the hardest <laughs> I've ever laughed. <laughs> when he's like a one, when that's a ring from two, two, I break a thing so do whatever the fucking and then we brood. He's just counting basically. Yeah, he is. Yeah, right. That so song, that's yeah. a bad song, right? Uh, Sounds kind of nice. Fat black people love it. I like Brian McKnight. My family says I could sing like Brian yeah, McKnight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but I'm just saying, dude. Um, what are you saying? Like water runs dry. Like that song, dude, with uh, the boys to men, dude. Okay, but what should the guy... Too, the guy should basically either start an R&B band. <laughs> okay, okay. That is strictly specific or not do a band. Okay. I don't like the advice of not, and there make you have a, it. not Next. do a band. He's not asking that. The Beatles are bad. That's not what he's asking either. Okay. And and you're wrong, but that's not what he's asking either. Back up. Don't do a band with your friends. If you have to do a band with your friends. He does. Let's take that. Let's say that. He has All right. To. If you have to do a band with your friends, then name your band. Name your band. Not something fucking cute or stupid like Death Cab for Cuties. Okay. Okay. There's only or Death Sparkle Death, Horse. Death Cab for Cutie, not Cuties. Who are you, mom? Well, Just adding an S to whatever. <laughs> I know. Pluralizing everything. I know. I know. Mom would be like, get the chairs, and there's one chair, and you lose your <laughs> mind. And so, uh, <laughs> Death Cab for Cutie, or Todd and the Big Heads, or whatever the fuck that one what is. The Big fuck Head is Todd. That? So stupid. You. It should literally like the Beatles is a great band name. It yeah. should all be the White Stripes. The start it with the something. Okay. The spin moves is good. Okay, but it, the but, reptiles, the frogs. Take that uh, one. I never frogs, heard it. Frogs, dude. You're bad at this. No way. I would rock. I'm in the frogs. I would start. Oh, a you're band saying I, the Beatles because the B E E T L. -E no, no, no. I'm saying just it should be animals or something, and just not, not left up to interpretation. I have an idea. Okay. How about animals or something for the, the band? band? The band name, animals or something. Nah, maybe the animals. No, it's got to be specific. Tigers. Tigers? That's not Alan specific. In it. Alan Trammell's in it. <laughs> Alan Trammell's. That's fucking so stupid. Cecil you know? Fielder. Wow. All right, let's figure this out. Uh, they were the Detroit Tigers in the 90s. The, anyway, he um, does blues. That's what he said. One of the genres mm -hmm. is blues. What was the other one he, he said he did? You said so many things. Remember? Uh, blues. Uh, he said uh, rock. He oh, said God, okay. uh, uh, something else. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. All music is, you know what kind of music he's going to make, you know? You know what kind of music that guy's going to make. Well, how would you describe it? My silhouette is broken, like that bullshit. The broken you know? silhouettes. I just, yeah. I mean, dude, if you're starting a band and you don't know what to call it, you're already fucked. No, come on. Get dude. involved from jump, dude. What? 
Get involved from jump, from jump. Hey guys, I got an idea. What are we doing? We're going to be the microphones and this is the music we're going to kind of play. Are you in or out, dude? Be more of a leader. Is he the, also, is he this lead singer or is he the fucking guitarist? We don't know. He knows. Yeah, I'm just saying. I don't, I don't know. What do you think? Anthony. Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say. The I'm not going to say is. The singers, that would be fucking the awesome. The singers? The singers and, gu- and guitarists. The, 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 the blues singers. We rock. We rock? That's the name of the we band? We rock. Okay. We rock. Fuck you. Okay. Call it. F- That's good. <laughs> That's good. Fuck you, the band. That's good. Yep. Yep. F- fuck you, the band. You breaking the table? No, that's good. Fuck you, the band. Fuck you, the, the band. The, the band, right? Okay. Fuck that's you, it. the band. That's I'm, the whole yeah. name, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. And okay. you see that guy come out on stage is hilarious. Just in a flannel and that's a fucking true. Bass Pro show. That's true. Sh- uh, hat. <laughs> Fuck you, the band. All, All right, right, cool. Great. It. Next. We got it. Here we go. You want to read it? Sure. Oh, no, uh, this is a, a repeat. Oh, returner. Okay. Holy shit. Okay. With the emojis and everything. Hey again, Matt and Chris. I'm back. In parentheses, the one that wrote in oh. th- wrote in that I black out every time and find out that I do the horizontal mambo. He blacks out and doesn't. We remember this from a previous yeah. episode. He blacks out and doesn't remember that he has sex until like a, a the, the, the the woman partner, next day. The partner texts text him. him, "Hey, that was great last night." And he's like, "Well, oh, I had sex. Like it's a fucking what was great? Like he doesn't even know. Yeah, yeah he's, okay. he's like he's a, like it's a fucking what's his name movie? What's the guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off? Matthew Matthew." Matthew Broderick? Like it's a Matthew Broderick movie in the in the 90s. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. Anyways, I wanted to add- I had sex with a question mark. That's what the movie's called. So go ahead. Cutting me off so We did what? Hard. Stop doing that. Okay, but I'm just saying it's Sarah Jessica Parker's in it. Anyways, I wanted to add on to what I wrote last time because I found out a little more about the situation. Fucking uh-oh. Well, no, this but also that all you could do is find out more about the situation because yeah, you, can't, you don't know anything right, about the situation because you blacked out. Right. So it turns out that one of the girls I ran in into bed that I ran into bed with was actually my brother's ex-girlfriend of a while. And now I seek for further advice. This motherfucking piece of shit. My question is, do I tell my brother or keep it a secret? Also, as Chris said, I drink because I can't stop, but also because it gives me enjoyment. Okay, well, you don't really need the second one if you have the first one, you know? Uh-huh. Can't stop. But also, it makes me happy. Okay. You know? Um, like, not a... Not a re- like Robin, I can't stop Robin Banks. I didn't know if this guy could get like darker, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and he's done it. Yeah, you know. Well, I mean, he just he doesn't know. Like he's just probably like he's got a bunch of problems. You know, uh, should you tell your brother though? That's the advice. Should you tell your brother that you had sex with his ex when you blacked out and drank? Okay. In all honesty, what I, I think he should, and let me tell you why. Okay. Because. Assuming you love, he loves his brother and cares mm-hmm. what his brother thinks. Obviously, something like that might, even though it's him doing it to himself, mm. it could be this like self-inflicted punishment that he needs to feel like he's hit rock bottom. He needs to hit rock bottom. It's like he's doing the fucking la- like the, like right, the right, Catholics right, right. do, like uh, in the show uh, Servant, yeah, yeah where yeah, the girls yeah, on the yeah. ground and self-flagellation. Yeah. Self self-flagellation when she, yeah. She right. thinks about, oh, I want fucking dick. And she's like, oh, never okay. Mind, well, never mind. that's actually, you're, you're adding that part. Right? Yeah. Well, what was it in that movie, in that show? I don't remember. It wasn't, I want dick. Well, if, you, if you're, if you're, if you're having impure thoughts, one of those impure thoughts is if you're a woman is, I need that dick. And then you got to okay. go self-flagellate. Okay. All I'm saying is you made that part up. Well, not, not yeah. If for, for what? The show? Yeah. But also, if you are a Catholic and you start thinking, I need that fucking dick horizontally, you got to then go get the fucking cat of nine tails and self-flagellate. That is true, but you made it up. That's all. That's my only thing. I'm just I'm saying, saying. It, in religion, the priest would tell you to do that, but go ahead. In religion, you know? Uh, <laughs> I think that you have to tell your brother because your brother might have a reaction that makes you really get your shit together and mm-hmm. make, your, make you... Obviously, we didn't fucking help. He's still doing it. Well, well, this was also a follow-up. I found out more about the situation. So maybe he did stop, mm-hmm. right? Right. Well, here's the thing. If you stopped, you should tell him yeah. and say, frame it around. Gotta come clean. I didn't, I used to be like this and I've yeah. stopped and, I, and I, I just, I, I learned something about one of my experiences when this happened and da, 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 whatever. Yeah. And if you haven't stopped yet, I would, I would say there's even more of an imperative to tell him because you need that rock bottom to pad reasons for you to motivate yourself to stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
It's not just about drinking, dude. This is fucking fucked up shit, man. Mm -hmm. You, I mean, I already went over this. I don't need to get all the way deep into the thing that he does. Mm. But this is another level. It's not just another layer. It's a whole other level. You fucked your brother's ex girlfriend. The and mother's ex is a hoe. No. no yeah, no, no, we're no, not no. forgetting that part, no, no, dude. No, 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 no. She doing them both, no, dude. No, no, no. That's fine. She can do whatever she wants. Well, yeah, but so can he. No, that's different, dude. He's doing it to his own brother. She's just a woman in the world. She doesn't well, necessarily need to like be. Uh, that's not on no, what no. planet is it not hoey to fuck brothers? I don't know. I don't know. Not this, Earth. This this planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years between. Come on. Years between what? What if it's years between? Oh, it's years between. Yeah. I mean, I guess. But then, okay. If it doesn't matter and it's years between, then why is he coming up with it? You're saying because it's his brother and he should come clean? Yes. Also, here's the other thing, too. Yes. What if they were like, what if like when he was drunk and blacked out, she didn't know he was blacked out? And she was like, we're not going to tell anyone. And he's like, yup, we're not going to tell everyone, anyone, even your brother. And he's like, yup. And then he does a horizontal mambo. And then now he's feeling guilty. And he's like, well, I got to tell him. Mm -hmm. But they already agreed on the shit. Mm -hmm. That Dude, this motherfucker fucked up. He's got to eat it. Yeah. Eat it. Eat it. And Change so because it's inside you and that shit's going to become cancer. Okay. But you got to eat that shit, man. If you made a pact with the chick, also, if you're very close with the brother, you got to. I can't imagine doing that to you and not telling you. You got to say. Yeah. True. True. You got to say. It's all. Also, it's, uh, it's, it's, there's so many things going on here. Wow. Like, this guy's in trouble. Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, Change. I think my advice to you is change. Change. You know? Yeah. You, you live in... You live in not, it's not a right, the right way, right? Because the you want to change. The, the blacking look, out thing the, alone is the Blacking out heavy. is one thing. That's fucked yeah. up. You should get yeah. help. The blacking out and having sex and not remembering it at all. Big problem. Is real bad. Is real yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgetting the doink and is then absolutely the and terrible. Then I also think he should talk to this woman mm. and be like, what was I like? Yeah, good, what ha good what advice. What happened? Like, what the fuck happened? Good advice. I give good advice too, but that's good advice. Okay. Yeah, and I think so that's I, good. I think you got to tell him, and that's that's the end of it. But go to her first and say, "Yo, I'm going to tell my brother." How about that? Well, that's yes, yes, definitely. because you can't blindside her. It sucks, dude. You yeah, both did this. That's, thing. that's a that's a that's fuck yeah. I yeah, no, you're it. that's you're right. You got to yes, talk to dude, her first. Yes, yeah. dude. I got one. One yeah, to one. You did get one. One yeah. to one. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Next. Yo, what's up, Tim Chris? Blue. What's up, Matt? What's up? Big fan. I'm so glad you guys are doing this pod. Hell yeah! Awesome. Uh, so here, here's my dilemma. Um, How do I take the seatbelt off? that is a serial cheater uh she cheats on her boyfriend all the time and i don't know her boyfriend that well but when i did meet him he seems like just the nicest guy in the world and uh she has nothing but great things to say about him and i'm curious on what i should do about this if anything um you know i hate to that he has to go through this unknowingly um, I've told her plenty of times that she should just be single. She obviously doesn't want that. And, uh, you know, to make matters worse, they have a family together. They have kids. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's just not my place. I should just stay out of it. Um, but, you know, she tells me this, these stories of her, you know, messing around with these other guys. And Jesus. I can't help but feel bad for the guy, especially when I see him and, you know, we we all hang out as a group and you you know it's it's just a dilemma and i'm wondering if i should play any part in this at all or just ignore it and live my own life like i've been doing let me know what you think thanks i feel like it, yeah, I'm, I, I, you know he's friends with her i don't know how close he is with her it sounds like they're close but he, he's definitely not close with him, you can tell. Yeah, no, he's just met him a few times. Yeah. So it's not like you're his friend. It's like you're her friend. Yes. You don't you don't know their relationship 100%. My, I'm always like, you got to let people live their path and figure out what they are, figure out their own lives. I don't, especially if they have a family. I yeah, guess. you're saying you got to let them bump into the wall on their own. Yeah. yeah all right. But what I think is, first things first. If he was his friend, it'd be a different story. Right. First things first, I would say talk to her about it that mm. it makes you but base it around like you in a way like this makes me uncomfortable i don't i don't yeah. and like and see what she says but he's already done that and she's he, he says she's brought it up yeah with her. well so, he said like yo maybe you should just be single but he hasn't maybe he, he probably hasn't had a real sit down with her you know i think the thing also is that he needs to say 
stop telling me about this shit. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, yeah, why because, are you telling? Because it's about making this him shit. uncomfortable, and then he meets the guy, and he's like, yeah. Oh, he's like fucking Philip Seymour Hoffman in The Big Lebowski. He's like, <laughs> oh, oh hi. you know what I mean? Totally, dude. And I think that that why why is she? I think that's something worth examining on its own. Why the fuck is she telling you about this shit? Mm. Like, is it what's her tone? Is she confessing? Is she ashamed? That's one thing. But if she's just like, yeah, I fucking messed around with this guy, and like, I. I you don't want to hear that shit. And so I'm giving, this is, this is like protection for you. I'm giving you advice. Mm. I don't know her oh, yeah. and I don't know the guy. The advice well, for we don't you know him really, but. is to fucking, yeah, but he's asking for true, advice true, true. and it's about his life. Dude, tell her to fucking stop telling you about this shit. And then also ask her, why the fuck do you tell me in the first place? Like what the, like, like why, why are you airing this out to me? Like, what do you think is, what are you getting out of it? Like, I, also, this is all, all of this makes me uncomfortable. When you tell me about it, it makes me uncomfortable. So stop telling me. If you care about our friendship, stop making me uncomfortable. Yeah, just be, yeah, he could be like, I don't really want to be a part of this. Yeah. You know, that that's the main thing. Yes. But I don't think you, I mean, if you go and you talk to the guy, you barely know him. I mean, the guy could have a reaction like, fuck you, stay out of our business. Yeah. You know? But I think if he's going to do anything like that, he should talk to her. Her, yes. That's and, the key. And say, like, you, you know need what, to dude? Come clean Honestly, tell the kids first. <laughs> no, I think that you you talk to her is the main thing, and you say, "Yo, just so you know, I don't like when you talk about this shit yeah. with me." Yeah, just keep your side of the street clean, yeah. right? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that's the main the main goal. Yeah, and um, then if it might turn into a conversation where you have an opening to like not judge her, right? But like ask her like why a few things, why you tell she tells you in the first place, but also why maybe she does it or or mm. whatever maybe she he'll glean something that he like yeah it, i don't i mean i doubt they have an open relationship based yeah. on what he's saying but mm. you i don't know and so i just think that he limiting this to being about you and not passing judgment on anyone tell her it makes you uncomfortable yeah and that you don't want to hear about it anymore i wonder how she tells him too like they're just homies and that's what i'm like, saying you know, it's fucking weird other, dude or she's just like yo we still on for dinner and then she's <laughs> like yeah I'll, I'll see you at five i gotta suck a dick at 4 30 <laughs> you know like i really wonder what it is about <laughs> the guy's just like i really wonder how she tells him yeah also it sounds like there's multiple instances of guys and, yeah you know because if it was once or twice he probably wouldn't call into maybe it's like an affair a single affair yeah, that's that's also that would make it different, different too. Yeah, yeah, that makes it yeah, different. Yeah. I mean, if it's multiple dudes, if she's just out there fucking with her mouth open, you know, right? Like on fucking a street corner. With, also, dude, the guy's out there with a, her mouth open is uh, is that an expression? No. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I make up expressions, my babies. Okay. So maybe he's like on the like, but also he's playing it real close here, like doing it on I Lifeline, know, dude. I know. Like I know, hundreds I know, of thousands of people are going to see this at I least. Know. And uh, and somebody's going to see it, and the, the the boyfriend might see it. The boyfriend's probably a huge fan of ours. He probably you know? is. Yeah. And so he's going to be like, wait a minute. Yep. I, and you know, we thought about that. Yeah. You know. Well. Hopefully it's all okay and everything works out. So Hopefully, basic, so basic. <laughs> but I hope that fucking you know this could lead to a fucking murder. Life. This could, because this is on this podcast. This could lead to a fucking homicide. Okay, relax. I'm just, dude. You got to think of all angles, and then also I'll turn on like fucking fear thy neighbor, uh -huh. and then it'll be like, oh shit, and we'll be on it. What's fear thy neighbor? It's where like a neighbor goes bonkers and shoots everybody in the fucking uh, shoots their neighbors. Or, it's a show. Yeah, it's a, it's a and dramatization. There's yeah, a like show a, about there's oh. enough neighbors killing neighbors that there's shows yeah, about fear it. Yeah, fear thy neighbor, and then there's fear thy roommate. No. Yeah, and there's fear thy. I mean, everyone's out there killing each other, dude. Sounds like it, huh? They're making fear thy fucking Home Depot employee. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, everyone's out there killing each other, dude. Wow. So be careful, man. You don't want this to lead to a fucking homicide. Is my point. I mean, obviously. Yeah, but dude, he's fucking. I'm telling you, man. You don't want to be in fucking Fear Thy Neighbor season five, and we might be in Fear Thy Neighbor season five because a fucking Timberland lookalike came in and did this fucking video. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be interviewed for it and shit. That's what I'm saying. And he seemed or, like or a nice show footage, archive footage of this shit. He seemed like a nice guy, you know, like that. Yeah, exactly. Why is we it always saw... that when there's a murderer? Dude, I'll tell you something, man, because it's always that unless they make a whole documentary that's a miniseries, mm -hmm. and then it's like, yeah, he always he was very creepy. Right, like, if yeah. it's just one episode about a guy, it's always, yeah, it was weird. They'd come in and he was nice. And right, we didn't right. have any fucking idea. But, bro, if you're talking about a guy that's like, like, they'd spend time on those motherfuckers in documentaries. Yeah. yeah. Like, if it was John Wayne Gacy, everyone kind of knew. 
They were like, yeah, he boasted all the time. It was very weird. John Wayne Gacy was even like, if you start to dig about that guy, I know. It just gets weirder and weirder. I know. And weirder that's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Although, also, if you didn't know that somebody was a serial killer and you knew them, you're a fucking idiot. Like, let's just say that. Say that again. Everyone's always like, we had no idea. Right. How yeah. about this? You're a fucking idiot. You know what I think all the time? I think a oh, person's a serial killer. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It's like, and, and like you're wrong half the time, but you err on the well, side of no, always probably got bodies. You're wrong way more than half the time. <laughs> you know? There's not that many fucking serial killers. But yeah, I think about shit like that all the time. It's like, you know who the fuck... Dude, if anyone in my life was a serial killer and then it gets exposed... Yeah. And then they're like, did you ever... I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, no, I could definitely see I was that guy. <laughs> You're the only no person in history though. Yeah, truly. but they wouldn't use my footage because they wanted to seem like the fucking drastic difference. Right, 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 right. I right. knew, motherfucker. Yeah. You, it's knew. so obvious. Look at we Buttons it all the way up with his crazy glasses. Yeah, right, yeah. Buying yeah. roses for girls he barely knows. Right, yeah. All right, dude. Yeah. So next. All right, next. What's up, Matt? What's up, Chris? What's up? So I got this friend who, uh, he was a groomsman at my wedding. Uh, he flaked on the rehearsal. I invited him to my daughter's first birthday, flaked on that. Jesus. And then, well, before that was my bachelor party. I invited him uh, to that. was super stoked for him to come out, and he flaked on that. God. And he didn't have any excuses for all these times that he's flaked on these huge moments in my life. Jesus. He just didn't show up. I've been friends with this guy, my best friend. I've been friends with him since middle school, and I'm 28 now, so I don't know, however wow. long that is. Over a decade. I'm trying to figure out um, whether to keep him around in my life or not. Every time I see him now, he's like, says how much he, you know, loves hanging out with me and how he misses me. And, you know, we always have a good time hanging out, but I always have, uh, it always kind of eats at me a little bit, all those things that he didn't show up for me for. Yeah, no shit. Because um, those are, I think those are pretty important things. And, you know, I trusted him, wanted him to be there for me, and, and he wasn't. You know, especially for my daughter's birthday, that that was kind of yeah, kind of the nail in the coffin for me. So I'm just trying to figure out whether I should keep him in my life or not, whether he's even worth, worth my time. Because I don't think I'll ever, you know, I've kind of forgiven him, but... I don't know if I'll ever forget those things, you know. So, am I being too dramatic? Should I let it go and move on? Try to try to figure it out with him, or has he done enough to where I should just just cut him off? You know, is he not even worth it anymore? So, any advice would be appreciated. Thanks, guys. Cool. I think that maybe like it's like one of those things where it's like, should I keep him in my life uh, any anymore? When it's like he's already making that decision for you. Mm. He's not in your life because he's not coming to the fucking important things. Mm. These things are, you know, like, I, dude, I, I had to figure this out too. Like, you know, people want you there for certain things. And if you're not there, you know, once is fine, twice okay, but then you're just an asshole. Like, you know, if people are constantly not showing up for you in your life, then what is a friend? Somebody you text with? Somebody you just run into at the bar, somebody that you get lunch with. This is your wedding. This is your fucking uh, daughter's birthday. Like I have people that I have people like that in my life where I'm just like, okay, you know, I have I have one buddy that just called me and he was like, I'm not gonna be able to come to your wedding, and I'm like, all right, that's kind of the last straw, dude. Mm. You know, like I love you, bud, but like you obviously don't want to be a part of my life anymore. Mm. You know, and it's different case by case, but I think that I think that, dude, it's just uh, I don't know, man. I mean. He's I, answering your question for you. Yeah, I, I actually, I should say, I'm, I'm not like this. Like when people don't want to come to shit that of mine, I, I don't ever care because mm -hmm. I understand why people wouldn't want to go to a thing because I don't want to go to a yeah, lot of things. Yeah, but people aren't but, like you. But that being said, I totally understand where this guy's coming from, and I way understand, very, very, very much understand that I'm in the minority feeling yeah, yeah, yeah. that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that being said, I think that you should at least explain to him or not give him another chance, but like let him know what's going on. Right. And if you're going to, as you say, cut him out, that's totally your prerogative. But I, I think you should at least uh, tell him and not just like stop entirely contacting this 
got fucking. Yeah, I him. guess so. Yeah, yeah. That, then well, he's going to be like, hey, dude, yeah, what's yeah, up? Yeah, then you're maybe the bad guy. Yeah, exactly. But also, also, people grow, people change. And then friends, you got to treat them like an army. Like sometimes people are frontline motherfuckers. You put the idiots up there, right? The, the guy's going to get shot the fuck up and the generals are going to be good in the back. But you also need the generals, right? You need the generals. And those people you make decisions with. Those are people that come to your fucking daughter's birthday party, right? And then you got the fucking guys who fly the planes. You got all the other motherfuckers. You got the Navy. You got the fucking, you know. And maybe this guy is just a frontline motherfucker that is is supposed to get popped right away. Right. You got to have those guys in your life. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. got to have those guys but, but, when the drawbridge <clears throat> opens on the beaches of Normandy and just fucking <clears throat> pop. That's this dude. And he just goes, all right. Okay. You know, maybe your friend is the guy looking for his arm and saving Private Ryan. So disrespectful to the fallen. But <laughs> um, but no, what I think is you you can also there's another option, which is to sort of like reconsider, recontextualize how good of a friend this guy is. You don't, it's not either he's this amazing friend who comes to your daughter's birthdays or I don't talk to this motherfucker at all. If he's a front seat friend, if he was, he can be a back seat friend now. He doesn't need to be front seat friend or he's out of the fucking car. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like he can just be a yeah, different like kind of friend. You're kind of saying what I was saying, but in a different way. Better. Well, I was doing it with the army fucking way, which right, is very I'm doing cool. But I'm doing it a little bit you're better. You're doing it with a bitch ass car, like a no, fucking a, no, a Dodge no, no, Neon. No, no, a car, a car, no. a car, a car. <laughs> I'm sticking with the car metaphor. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. Go by his house, drive by and and fucking when you, and when he pops his head, honk the horn, when he pops his head out the window, just go like this. The window's down and go like this. Wow, what what? Like you were up here oh. and now you're down here. So you think that motherfucker's gonna understand what no, that is? No, I don't. Oh, 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 I think he'll call him afterwards and be like, what the fuck was that all about? And then he Was goes, that you? <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? And he's gonna say, I was just showing you where you were and now where you are. Dun, 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 dun. If you'd like to make a call, wow. please hang up and try again. Message C five. Taking it so far. Taking it so far. <laughs> Remember that shit? No, what's message C five? They would do that at the end on the really? fucking landlines. Yeah, on the end, it was fucking. It would happen so. It would go. You would hang up, and then uh -huh. it would go, and then it would go do, and then you know it would go ding 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 yeah. ding to let you know it was off the hook. It would yeah. do it really loudly, and then if you left that going in the nineties, it would say message C five. Yeah, whatever the fuck. I I don't. I've never heard that. Well, your boy likes to see what the fuck happens and when I leave shit alone. And I think you're lying. I, I'm I think, not lying. Okay. Well, I decided that you are. Okay, well, that's what makes you wrong. One of us has to be. Nope. All right, next one. Hi, Matt. Hi, Chris. I mean the TikTok. My question to you guys is, what would you suggest I do in a situation where I was seeing somebody quite a long time ago, beginning of the year? Not that Didn't long last long. very long. <laughs> no longer seeing each other. Nothing dramatic happened for the parting of ways. Prior to hooking up Doinkin. loose friends have a lot of mutual friends however it's becoming apparent that this person is trying to keep a connection keep Doinkin. they're not really getting the hint i'm trying to sort of let it die it doesn't seem to be working and at what point do i swing the hammer and say something that's forceful or do I just continue to hope that they'll get the hint through non-engagement uh are I you a uh, guys don't take a uh, hint very well yeah they don't take a hint very well and yeah. you got it and they always and guys are always like I wish these fucking chicks would just tell so just fucking tell them also what's with the fucking tiktok that's hilarious what's with the tiktok and also in the back was there like an animal uh, drinking there water there was a dog drinking water okay, yeah. yeah I'm very yeah. perceptive and I knew that before you no I knew it before you okay so um, yeah I mean you don't like this guy like that you know you, you had sex or whatever you hooked up and then he, he wanted to be friends and you just you got the ick or whatever the fuck people from Australia say right she's and, Australian yeah well, what do you mean? What the fuck know. you think? She's not from the Midwest. I, don't, I didn't well, first say of all, you she's know, from the fucking Midwest. You know, why she's, you know why she's Australian? But besides the accent. Because she's from Australia? No, besides that. She's got a lot of tattoos. Dude, Austra you can't, find somebody with no tattoos in Australia, you can't. They're okay. fucking two years old. At okay. three, they're like, yeah, I'll get a pacifier. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'll look to get a fucking... I want to get a pull patrol across my chest. <laughs> I swear to God, dude, you cannot find a fucking Australian without 90 tattoos. It's unbelievable. Okay, okay. So that's how you know she's okay, Australian. So she's also Australian. with the voice. Okay. And yeah. um, 
Yeah, dude, just, you gotta, I don't, I, I don't know, man. It's like, don't, it's like, this guy wants to, look, you're attractive. He had sex with you. He wants to probably keep you in the rotation, right? He probably is because he, uh, unless, because it doesn't sound like you guys wanted to be boyfriend or girlfriend, right? Okay, the guy yeah. probably wants to keep you around, but not, you know, he wants to milk, but he doesn't want to fucking buy the cow, right? Okay. Or whatever that, ex whatever that saying is. It ain't that, but yeah. Whatever okay. the saying, whatever, whatever the saying is that my ex's mom would say to me once on the phone that got me really hot and bothered. <laughs> really hot, not hot and bothered. Hot and up, bothered. Up. Sorry, wrong, wrong, wrong of the thing. But, um, yeah, man, just tell him, you know, look, you're Australian. So look him right in the eye. And when he says, hey, want to hang out? Since you're Australian, look him right in the eye and say, nah, eh? <laughs> so many sounds in the That's word. That's what no. it is with no. Nah, eh? Wow. Okay. And get a tattoo. Uh, you know what? Get a tattoo across your fucking forehead that says, I don't want to hang out with you. No. Yeah, just says, nah. Nah, eh? Fucking whatever his name is. 12 letters. No. Uh, no, I think that you just fucking tell him. You don't have to be that nice. You have to be nice in this world, but you don't have to like bend over backwards, break your fucking back nice. Just be like, uh, hey, I, 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 this is not the thing for me. Has every, you know what? Has it happened to you? I, one time a girl said something to me. Uh, where Has what I, happened to me? Th this, like where you're like, oh, I thought we were going to do this again, but I realized she didn't want to. Oh, like, am I, have I been in his, the guy's yeah, shoes before? Yeah, Because trust me, look, before I even say this, like, dude, I lay it down, trust me. Okay. 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 So this doesn't happen a lot. Okay, relax. But I'm saying, but I lay it down. I, I'm sure, here's what I'll say. I'm yeah. sure it has. I cannot think of a time, but. Mm -hmm. I course. probably can't remember one of mine either, but I, it, I do, it does have a come to mind because it, it probably hasn't happened, but it has once. <laughs> <laughs> but I lay it down, right? Okay, but I'm being serious. I'm I know, sure that's I know, happened. I know, I'm but kidding. I can't think of one. But okay. I, I remember one time I was like, "Yeah, we're gonna hang out," and I remember what this girl said, and I was like, "Fair enough, man." She said, "Oh, that ship has sailed." Oh yeah, and I was like, "Huh?" Fair enough, okay. for sure. That's the right response. And enough. I was like, "All right, cool. Yeah. You know, whatever." Yeah. So just say that ship has sailed. That ship is sailed. Yeah, I, I, I respect the shit out of people who do that stuff. By the way, anyway, even mm -hmm. if it's bad news for me, if they just come right out and fucking say it, I'm like. Well, damn. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what you fucking think, how you feel. Mm -hmm. Now I know too, and I can move fucking on accordingly. Yep. It's way better to tell him. Just tell him. It's better for him too. Or how about this, dude? How about this? Hey, guy, be sexier. Be fucking undeniably cool. How about that, dude? You're well, not. She doesn't want you. Bro, if you were Don Juan Day fucking... Uh, Perth or wherever the fuck you're from. If wow, you were, wow. if you were Don Juan de Adelaide, <sighs> then you know what, dude? You wouldn't be having this problem. And this chick would not be saying nah. Eh? She'd right. be saying yeah. Oh, that is how they say it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But also, that is not a thing that's possible. Being sexier? Are you kidding me? Have you seen the way sexier? I walk? Recently, have you seen the way I walk? It's way different than how I used to, and it's a lot better. No, I haven't, and no, it's Ask not. Chicks. No, I haven't, and no, it's not. Ask Kristen. Nope. Uh, no, but but the bottom fucking line, the middle line, the top line, and the bottom line mm -hmm. all say the same thing. Weird which order. Is, which, <laughs> which is tell him. Weird order. Middle line, the top line, there's a line in the middle of the top, <laughs> mid, mid to top line, bottom, middle line, and then bottom line is? Every line. Every line says one thing. Okay. And tell that is? him. Tell him. Tell don't want to hang out anymore. Yeah. Busy in the tattoo parlor. Right. Getting tattoos. Okay, you're taking it a little fucking far now. <laughs> That's not accurate anymore. That ship has sailed. Getting a ship on me back. Getting yeah. a ship on my back. Yeah. Because it's sailed. The ship's got your name on it. It's far away. It's a little ship in me on my back. And it's far, far away because it's sailed. My... She would, be, he would be like, oh my god, <laughs> that would do the trick. He would want to stop texting. I think the again. answer is, hey, guy, be sexier. Honestly, no, dude, the advice isn't for the fucking guy, but dude. It could be, if it, but if it was, she wouldn't even have this question. If if what was if what so, so, if we gave that guy advice, uh -huh. hey, guy, call in. Where are you, dude? Yeah, he should have been calling in. Hey, Why? man, I really want to hang out. I really want to hang out with this chick. chick. You yeah. know, I was really awesome. Really had a great time. Yeah. She makes me split. I don't know. <laughs> um, had to get her back, but like, she seems like she wants to be friends. But like, I'm really interested in fucking squirting. And like, I wow. don't know how to do it. Squirting. Be sexier, bro. Dude, Develop that's not a, new a thing walk. you can do. Talk differently. You can't just be a get sexier a person. Yes, you can, dude. I do it. 
like okay. every 10 months. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay. Next one. What's up, Chris and Matt? Nice. Uh, love you guys. Love the show. You guys give some great advice. And uh, I'll give you a little context on my issue. We've been hanging out with this dude and his wife for a while, you know, like five or six months, right? We all became pretty close. They integrated to our friend, friend group really well. And um, not too long ago, we found out that he was beating her, right? He beating was her? Jesus. Hitting her, you Jesus. know, verbally abusing her. And when we first heard about it, we never really witnessed it. So we just told him like, hey, you gotta stop or we're gonna kick your ass, right? This is not good, it needs to be over, but it's happened again. So at this point, I've completely written this guy off. He's not my friend anymore. And um, Jesus, I really want to just kick this guy's teeth in, right? You know, teach him a lesson. But part of me, maybe the more rational side of me thinks, you know, I'm, ar I'm already in some trouble with the military. I, so I really should just kind of lay low at this point, but Trouble with the a military. big Was part the of Taliban? really just wants to kick the shit out of this guy. Did not you know, I'll do a spin move and knock him out. I don't oh, care. That's a bad Playing my imaginary that. mandolin and <laughs> kick his teeth down his throat. Like I'm tired of this guy, but well, imagine um, if did that. I just wanted to know what y'all would do in my situation. Um, should I go through with it? Should I err on the side of caution? Um, and that's it. All right, y'all. I mean, Keep imagine if it. that's what he did. Wow. Imagine if that's what he did. He just fucking... And then just continued... Uh, to the, kick the shit out of him? To kick the shit out of him. Hey, hold on, dude. You're not... Okay, look. This is a fucking fucked up situation. Terrible. Right? You, but you're not Batman. You so, can't... So you don't just go kick the shit out of somebody. Also... You'll go to fucking jail. Yeah, dude. this guy should go to jail. If that's what's happening, this that's, other guy should go to jail. That's what I was going to say. So just call the cops. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously- Is it talk, on her? She's got to do you gotta it, You got to talk to her about it. Yeah. But like, because you can't do a thing that she doesn't want mm -hmm. you to do. You got to listen to what the woman wants, and that's complicated, but you have to. Um, that being said, you, you can't kick the shit out of him. Oh, yeah. Because then you would end up- in jail. Yeah, but also, what if you lose? Oh, you really think? Bong, and then just like right before he even gets a shot off. <laughs> but something tells me that this guy can kick the shit out of many, many, many Because people. he's in trouble with the military. Any guy that's in trouble with the military, yeah. Also, I, I mean, how did he just sneak that in there, by the way? I'm already in trouble with the military. He's in the military. Or he's the Taliban. No, man, he's in the military. I'm saying or he did 9-11. Yes. No, you don't get in trouble with the military if you're well, a terrorist. You don't think the Taliban's in trouble with the military? They are, but that's not what you fucking say. Okay, I'm just saying. He wouldn't say he was in the Taliban. He, wouldn't he come out. like had to go to the brig or some shit. He's like in trouble. Like maybe he went AWOL, something like that. Maybe. Or he's not a he, fucking terrorist. He could be ISIS. I'm just saying. All right, anyway. He, uh, he, it looked like an ISIS video. He was, you know what I mean? With right, the sound. The voice too. He's probably All holding right. somebody's head. <laughs> Look. Zooms out. Uh, wait, no. It's uh, the guy's head. You got, uh, you're already, if you're already in trouble legally with some part yes. of the br a branch of the United States government, yes. even more you can't kick the shit yeah. out of this fucking yeah. guy. But I see why you think that way. You know why? Because you think that way and your history proves it. So don't do what you do. Yeah, right. Sit back, relax, talk to this woman. Yeah. Try to get her to fucking call the police. Yes, yes. Because this is a violent crime. Yes. I mean, this isn't like, hey, this guy keeps stealing my money yeah. or like fucking taking, taking my lunch money, right? This is a guy beats the shit out of a woman, which is fucked up in any way. Yeah. So, yes. yeah. Uh, yeah, dude. I mean, that is a... First of all, that's such a terrible fucking situation for you to yeah, be Yeah, we in. joke around a lot, but that's fucking horrible. That's not a situation anybody should have to find themselves in this for that yeah. woman, first of all. Mm -hmm. But... The, it, something like that is it makes so many waves and fucking touches on so many other things outside of the one fucking unit of people it's just so bad for everybody yeah. involved but you gotta get you gotta not kick the shit out of this guy mm -hmm. you gotta restrain yourself in that department although i can relate i would want to do the same i do want to do the same i don't even fucking know this guy but he deserves to get the shit kicked out of him but you can't do it so you will not do it you will talk to this woman and you will try to First of all, be open to what she has to say. Don't be like, you got to go to the fucking cops. You got to do it now. Yeah. Talk to her. Mm -hmm. Hear what she has to say. 
and try to navigate the conversation in such a way that it becomes a conversation about going to the authorities in some capacity. Mm -hmm. Because At least, is, yeah. you, he is not going to stop doing it. No. He's not going to just be like, if there's no consequence, certainly yeah. he's not going to stop. Take him on Springer. Yeah, but no. Take him on Jerry Springer. Yeah, but no. You, you know what I mean? Because you could beat the shit out of people on that show, and for some reason, nobody ever gets arrested. Yeah, that's true, actually. Um, wow, that's a heavy one, man. Jesus Christ. Tr tr talk to her. Restrain yourself in terms of physical violence. Talk to her and try desperately to get her to to you know to, to 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 tr to want to go to the authorities about you know what you do put kilos of coke in his trunk and then call the cops anonymously and be like i know this guy is distributing drugs and then that guy gets in huge trouble and he, the girl won't get beaten anymore you got to think outside the box dude you know, that's way outside the box but yeah. uh i wouldn't recommend that i would recommend what i said pussy <laughs> uh but i understand why you'd want to kick the shit out of this yeah, guy talk to her first it's the worst if, fucking thing you can do talk to her first if she doesn't want to you know, if she's like, no, I love him. And, you know, she's like in one of those relationships. Yeah. yeah. Then fucking plant some kilos of Coke in his in the back of his fucking goddamn Chevelle or whatever it is. Call the cops. Wow. Cops, I got a hot tip. Can't tell you who it is. You know, do the fucking <laughs> yeah, Taliban yeah, yeah. thing, right? Oh, that makes me mad. It makes me mad. What does the Taliban thing? No, man. Not you. The, the, the guy fucking said. Mm. Uh, yeah. Fucked up. Fucked right. up. Well, maybe we got another one. I mean, so made us start wait. like that. Made us guys. My name's Jet. I'm 22. I'm in college. And um, I have a question about how to sort of control um, the, the universe anger in your mind. Um, this is kind anger? of in relation to an idea that Chris has talked about on his podcast so. where he makes up fake scenarios in his head oh, yeah. just so he can get mad at them. Yeah. Um, That's a crazy and person. like That's he'll make up a fake argument and yeah. then like what he'll say in the fake argument and it just gets like oh, you're insane? super worked up and I, I found that I do the same thing. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and it does feel good to indulge yourself into those fake scenarios and get angry and you know anger sometimes feels really good but um, I was wondering um, if there's a way to stop that because it's starting to affect how I see people in real life. Like if I have a fake argument with my friend in my head or something, then I start to like genuinely like have negative feelings towards them. And it's like, it, it's like not, um, good something that, uh, should be happening. Yeah, so I was just curious, like Chris, I know you've struggled with this. Um, and maybe you have figured out a way to put a stop to it. You definitely haven't, um, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, Matt, as well. Um, thank you so much. Cool. I mean, I would suggest working out and getting that address, uh, 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 aggression out, but it looks like he's fit. He probably does work out. He is fit. He yeah. definitely surfs. There's no doubt. in. We, we, well, here's the thing. He's 20. What do you say? He was Two. 22. That's really, really young to already think that. Like, you only get angrier. <laughs> like, you will only get angrier unless you're thinking about it, which I guess he is thinking about it. You know, hopefully he's talking to somebody about his anger. I mean, but like, dude, I'm in the car all day long, and I, I'll just, out of nowhere, I'll be like, oh, you think so? You know what I mean? And then oh. I'm off. And I, by the way, I don't even know who I'm mad at yet. And then I'll pick one of my friends and I'll be like, that's who it is today. Oh, and I'll wow. just start, yeah, I do that. And then I do understand. So you're crazy. You're a crazy guy. Well, yeah. I mean, I think yeah, more people do that. I think more people do that than I think you probably do that. Uh, I think you talk to yourself in your car and you imagine arguments that you get into sometimes. I think well, one time I was driving down the street and I was doing it. And I looked next to me and a guy, a guy was fucking doing it to another guy, one of his friends. Huh. I wonder if it was the same friend. If we knew I him. don't, I don't think I've done that. I do crazy shit. Not that though. Mm -hmm. um, but this guy's. Let me get this straight because he's talking about you. It's yeah. You do. Yeah. You talk about having fake arguments with people to like get it out, like get it out of your no, system. Yeah. Like, well, no, not even necessarily, but like I'll be. Like, okay, take something that your friend does. Like, take, take, like, say you have a friend that's always late. Uh -huh. Okay. And you're, you'll be in, you know, I, he says in the car, but you can do it anywhere, right? You're just daydreaming and you're like, okay, like, say my, the guy I bring on the road with me, Mike Linochi, mm -hmm. say he's always late. He's not. Mm -hmm. But we, if we have a gig, say this weekend in Atlanta, we'll be like, oh, I'll be thinking about it. And I'll be like, oh, they, he better not be fucking late. Right. And then I'll be like, cause he's always fucking late. And then I'll be like, in Atlanta, in my mind, he'll be showing up and I'll be like, it's fucking late. 
and in my head and I'm driving. I'm in the car and I'm just like, I can't believe you're fucking late again. Now it's me. All of a sudden I'm saying it out loud. I can't believe you're fucking late again. And then I'll do his part in my head and then I'll be like, you know what? If you and I'll come up with ideas of how the conversation is going to go if it happens in Atlanta and then oh, I'm all fucking riled up. Yeah. And then either it happens or it doesn't that weekend in Atlanta. And if it does happen, if it doesn't happen, it's fucking bullshit. I shouldn't have got all that out in the car anyway, yes, because yes. now I'm feeling angry at him. Yes. Or it does happen in Atlanta. And I think I know what to say, but he's not going to say what I think. I s- yeah, but he's you gonna, thought he was going to yeah, say. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Conversation. He's a different person. Yeah. So it's but so I, you know, I don't know if it's good or bad that I do it, but I'm in my car having these conversations and I'm really sticking it to him, man. And I'm doing real good, you know. I'm doing real good in my head. I'm winning the argument, but mostly because it's in my head and he's saying the things that I want him to say that I know how to combat. Well, if he says this, I'll say that. If he says this, I'll say that, right? You need help. I'm getting it. You need help. I'm getting you, it, baby. You need a little bit more help. Mm. But I think that maybe a more like controlled way to do this, one that doesn't increase rage, is to like write it out as if it was a letter and contain your thoughts in a way that is like a persuasive argument, thoughtful, and you think it all the way through. And then you never send it. That's what a lot of therapists would tell you. Oh, really? Yeah. I actually have done that. And let me tell you, it actually works. Really? You'll start to like forget about it. But because you you've, you've gotten it out. It's a weird mind yeah. trick. I'm not saying like it's like some actual woo-woo shit. It doesn't nothing actually changes yeah. except something about writing it down, Fuck. walking through the whole part of like expressing it as yeah. if you were gonna express it to that person. It even makes it like easier on you become easier on that person my therapist always tells me to do that and i never do it do it but it's like i don't want to write an essay you know i'm not you don't write an essay you write an email and you don't send it you don't send it i mean obviously you don't send it it seems a little risky writing an email it's you don't put their name in the fucking thing okay but if you just by mistake hit that one button dude then you don't write it off to mike linocci subject late you're always late and then save it as a Here's draft. why you're a cunt. One, two, three, four, five, right, six. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, all right, look. I mean, we we have more videos and we're not going to stop yet, but I do want to say, since I forgot to do this, I will be in Atlanta. <laughs> wow. 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 September wow, wow. 9th. Crystalia.com. Uh, I'll be in Atlanta September 9th. Washington, D.C. September 10th. This is an ad break, I guess. Stockton, California, Oakland. I got dates in, you know, Peoria, Illinois, Rockford, Illinois. Made it up. Uh, Raleigh. October 21st, Savannah, Georgia. Denver, November 5th. Cheyenne, Wyoming, November 6th. Boston, almost sold out, November 12th. Jacksonville, Florida, December 3rd. So go to chrislea.com and get those tickets now. There's still tickets available on uh, all of those shows as of now. They're big places. Um, So, uh, yeah. Let's do We could do one more video. All right. And then we're done. Hey, guys. First-time caller, long-time listener. Love the new show. Uh, Today, I'm going to be using missed connection lingo as a way to describe this scenario. Also, this is completely hypothetical, not saying this has ever happened to me. Um, So let's just say a 24-year-old male plumber has been on this website. Okay, 100% happened. Yes. Okay, we know that. Yes. Also, let me explain. If you haven't seen my podcast, congratulations. I do a segment called Misconnections where I read misconnections from Craigslist. And I just go through them and they're always about fucking sex. And they're trying to um, like, what do you call it? They're trying to not, they you, they like, I don't know why. I guess they get flagged if they talk about like blowjobs. So they'll be like, I want to eat your corn on the cob. No. Yeah, it's really funny. Wow, people are so fucking I know. crazy and I know. weird, man. They'll be like Mexican chub. What is that? Like a fat Mexican. I want a fat Mexican to come over to my house and clean my pipes. They'll be like, Mexican chub, come clean my pipes. That sounds like a way to get real crossed up. Oh, well, Somebody comes to your door with plumbing equipment and shit? If... (laughs) Yeah. Well, you you just go to a plumber, I guess, if you were going to fucking... True, yeah. All right, so go ahead. Hey, guys. First-time caller, long-time listener. Love the new show. Uh, Today, I'm going to be using missed connection lingo as a way to describe this scenario. Also, this is completely hypothetical, not saying this has ever happened to me. So so let's just say a 24-year-old male plumber has been on this website where he is looking for prospective female clients. Uh, also interested in plumbing and okay. pipe cleaning. Plumbing. And he's been messaging this one female so client weird. back and forth, and she finally invites him back to her place. 
and they start to do some plumbing. And during wow. the pipe cleaning, the male <laughs> plumber's part or tool stops performing uh, or st- okay. malfunctions. Um, what would you recommend the male plumber to do in this scenario? What could he say to the female client in order to assure her that it's not her fault? Thank you. Looking forward to what you guys have to say. Uh, and yes, I recorded this in a bomb shelter. <laughs> Dude, how weird is that 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 was the fucking thing that I said and then he did that? Very weird. Um, I'm psychic, dude. No, no, no. I, you know what it is? I'm great. No, no. We can well, af- Obviously, it's like the funniest version of it. Nah. And so you both thought Or that. the hackiest, which is why we both came. Right. He's not even a professional comedian. Yeah. I am, and that's the one I went no, to. No, you guys are hacky. He's you're, a plumber. You you're right. I mean? You are hacky. That's no, true. So, all right. So he... Is obviously talking about himself. The answer but, but, is but make a not. fucking joke about it. No, you go like this. It's your fault. Do a spin move and fucking move off. He just out. said, how do I make sure that to tell her that it's not her fault? It is. Okay, no, it's I'm not. I'm kidding. It's not, dude. I'm joking. We do jokes here. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Make a fucking joke about it, dude. Make a joke about it. You know it. what you could say? What? This is for real. What? Because it's happened to me. What? If you say, you know this is true this is well for me it's been true in my in my life i'm 42 it's happened but i'm like you know uh i i actually like you and i'm like it's not that i'm nervous but like i i want you to like me and i want to make sure that everything is cool and that's why was that true yes for me yeah oh well if it was true if i like the girl the first time a lot of the times it's like i'm i don't i'm not fully you know what I mean? It's like you're a little, up. a little in your head, you mean? I guess you're nervous, so, yeah. Nervous, like a little... I mean, cold, like a I guess so. I, I, I don't feel nervous, but it's like I'm... It's like I'm but it's like, a nervous system thing. Yes, right, yes, okay, yes, yeah. yes. But yeah. the thing is, I'm not a bitch, dude. Oh, okay. And if you're thinking that, that's not true at all. Okay. Right. Again. Thank you. One more time. Relax. Yeah. But I would say that that's a good... And I have said that to the girl. That's good, actually, because mm-hmm. it's, it's honest and endearing, and it makes it clear which checks this box, which this guy's concerned with, mm-hmm. which is actually very thoughtful. He wants to make sure that the woman knows it's not her fault. Right. Or not her not fault, but mm-hmm. like not because he's not attracted to her, let's say. Uh, right. But uh, so yeah, there's there's that. But I think there's also, when I say make a joke, I don't mean like about her, obviously. Like mm-hmm. a joke about, like a self-deprecating joke about yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah. about something faulty hardware fucking yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. the fuck but uh yeah dude it's so fucking obvious the thing the things not to not do mm-hmm. are so fucking obvious yeah you know what i mean like you don't want to fucking make s- anything that's even remotely possibly misconstrued as you would co- blaming mm-hmm. her mm-hmm. that would be sayonara to you for the rest of your fucking time on earth with this particular woman yeah or you could be like some guys like some guys like uh but you remember in that movie um the one with the fucking ben stiller and the guy who goes where's my baseball and cameron diaz oh something about mary yeah um he <laughs> jerks off before he goes on a date right with her. Yeah, yeah 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 you know yeah. you could just say you did that oh but that see that th- th- here's something sometimes there are dire situations where you really want to save someone's feelings where the only thing you can think of in the moment is to lie. Yeah. I don't think that you have to do that in this situation because True. the truth is not only endearing, but uh, also the truth. And the truth is always a little easier or a lot easier because you don't have to remember the thing you fucking lied oh, about. Oh man, but then it's like fucking, if it happens the next time, dude, then you're in your head, you know what I mean? Right, but then at least it would be like a... The last, the previous also, case would be true, and then that would be like a rolling truth, I guess. Yeah. You want to call it like it's just perpetuating itself, and then it becomes its thing. Yeah. I get what you're saying about getting in your head, but you don't yeah. want to lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you could, maybe you're gay. You think he's gay? No, I mean he might be. You just be like, you know what? I haven't decided if I'm into dudes yet or not. But you, this was really good, though. Thank you. If, Sorry. <laughs> We'll see next time. Just I'm gonna say fuck that? a guy. That would be the worst thing to say. <laughs> I'm gonna you know? fuck a guy next, and then when I come back to you, we'll see what happens. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's an option. I wouldn't recommend no, it, but no, you could go good. that way. Um, yeah. Tell her what I said, dude. That's good because that's probably how you feel. I'm a psychiatrist. Oh, okay. Uh, if that's the truth, then definitely do what he said because that's good. Yeah. Um. All right. Cool. Well, that was good. That was great. Um. That's it. We'll wrap it up. We did like eight videos. 
Uh, Chrislea.com for tickets. I got I got a bunch of cities coming up. I read them about 10 minutes ago. Uh, so go get your tickets now. Still some seats available. And uh, and that's it. Did we have anything? Oh, did you pull up the the, the, the the fucking home screen or no? If you have a if you have a uh, a question, go to uh, what do you call it? Um, what is it, uh, Anthony? Do you know it? Did, did Mark, ask Matt and Chris. Did Mark do it? Oh, um, yeah. Send in a video. Uh, the link is in the description below, or go to watchlifeline.com. And uh, another thing that we like doing is looking at the uh, comments and seeing what advice you have for everybody. So go ahead and uh, drop your advice for the people because they're also reading it. I, I heard noticed. it was fucking going off in the comments on our last episode. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Someone wrote to me, someone someone who had her, we, we used her video and uh -huh. gave her advice, uh -huh. and she wrote me and was like, so many people in the fucking comments were like, don't uh, about it. Yeah. yeah, so that's good because they read that stuff too. So you could be like, if you're watching, yeah, right, you yeah. know. Don't want to um, get over inundated with that shit though. There's nothing worse than too much advice. Like a, imagine mm -hmm. somebody giving you like a hundred people giving you advice mm. and they're all different. Yeah. You'd be overwhelmed. I guess so. Yeah, you're right. Well, man. don't make it sound like you disagree with me. I mean, I'm right about a lot of stuff, dude. Ah, okay. Uh, all right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, Chrysalia.com for tickets. And uh, that's it. We love you. Thanks, I guys. love you. You guys oh, are good. I love you all. <laughs>